Hey guys, Fellock here with another episode of my Minecraft home mech. It's actually attempt number two. I did um, I did an episode. It was actually a little bit of a longer episode. I actually built in the episode. I go to edit it and it said it was corrupted. And now I don't know if it's actually corrupted for good, but even if it wasn't, it was a little too long even when I, when I would have edited it. So I decided I'm going to make this shorter episode in which I discuss the principle that I was, sh what, what I was doing in the episode, kind of. I was, I have a whole principle that I was showing. And I will instead, if I can actually salvage the footage, I'll make an episode, Homac 5.5, in which I show the footage with me, with my commentary and other things, of course. I will cut part of it because I still have to discuss it in this episode, but basically this is what I made. This whole area here, that little pond and everything, that was made, but I made this little building here. And I improvised the whole thing. I, I didn't really have anything in mind, any idea what I wanted. I just had a block selection. I ended up using most of the blocks I wanted, minus bookcases and pistons, because when I actually made it, since I didn't really think about it too much, there wasn't really much room. I mean, there's not really much going on in here. It's all aesthetic, obviously, because that's all we do in this series. Um, you wouldn't want to live in here, or maybe you do. I don't know. But yeah, so basically, I did it to cover a principle, although I ended up not really doing it as well as I wanted. But what I called it was Fell's Rule of Three. Now I said, you know, it, I'm, I doubt I'm the only one to have ever thought of it. I doubt I'm the only one to have ever talked about it. I might be, who knows? But um, basically, it's how I build like all of my structures. As you can see in here, they're all three by three patches. There's a bunch of them. I forget how wide this thing is. In actuality, it's like 50 something by 50 something. But this out here is 21 by 21. So it's seven by seven, three by three patches, pretty much. 21 by 21 in general. And I use this to make a grid, because obviously this is Minecraft. It's like, a, it's like a giant piece of graph paper, and we fill it in with colors. And it's just a fancy graph because we have a Z or a Z, depending on how what you want to call it. So that so it's 3D. It's a 3D graph. That's all it is. And so basically, I break it up into parts to help me line up, help me with my lighting, and making things even like pathways. Um, that breaks the symmetry, so that's not a very good example. But like pathways, when you make them without any planning, you can combine them if you simply just make all of your areas three by three on the ground um you can make them three by three by three if you really want um i make them three by three by three my hallways anyways for the most part it's just because i like that but you can obviously make it different but as long as you use the three by three on the ground and then i put glowstone with two spaces in between each glowstone and it just makes building and lighting so much easier even in my buildings like even in this building it's actually built on threes. See, the walls, see, it's a three, 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 you see, and it allows for more symmetrical lighting. That's the main thing I like about it, is it allows for easier lighting without having to count things out and not having messed up spaces. Because when you have an even, there's nothing worse than having an even thing when you have to light things up. Um, it, it just doesn't work out too well. See, so three, 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 that's three wide. See, there's one three there. There's another one here and another one there and that's how I built it so I built it on my rule of three um, I actually have a very nice example of this that will be in the server tour at some point in which I show you my uh, zombie land as we call it due to the mass quantities of zombie spawners but yeah um, okay well now that that's over and I think I've covered it enough if I haven't I'm gonna try and salvage some of that footage where I hopefully explain it better but um, there's not really much more to it than that. I mean, it's just a really simple trick that is so amazingly useful for lining things up, especially hallways. Like, you, you, it's much easier than counting and actually having to hit F3 and getting your coordinates and all that other crazy stuff. Now, I'm going to show you this because I thought this was cool. Look at this. This is natural right here. I thought it was pretty awesome. Only one little thin layer separating the grass from it, um, separating the light from it. One layer of grass. Okay, now it's time to talk about what I really wanted to talk about in today's episode. Well, not what I really want to talk about, but my first gift giveaway. Yes, that's right. I have an extra Terraria gift code on Steam. 
and obviously I'm never going to use it, so I figured why not give it to you. Now, of course, you may be saying, well, Terraria is like really cheap. It's like $5 right now. It's 50% off, if you didn't know. But um, yeah, well, maybe cheap is not free, people. No. But it will be free if you enter in this little challenge thing, and it's very easy. It's not a creativity contest or anything. Pretty much anyone can win. It's very easy. There are signs all throughout here from there all the way through my structures are in things I built none of them are um, anywhere obscure like way over there or anything crazy like that and some of them are hidden some of them are not so in some instances you will have to destroy blocks however they will only be blocks I place and I'm not gonna get all tricky and be like oh well I place this one grass block here and there's totally a sign behind it I mean there isn't but yeah I'm not gonna do anything like that so you don't have to worry about that. I mean, it will be an obviously placed block, like like stone brick that's not in a stronghold or something, you know, because there's a lot of stone brick in there. So, yeah. So it's not anywhere insanely ridiculous for the most part. And if you find the sign, the winning sign, the sign that says you win, yes, then if you send me a picture, you can that you take by any means just the minecraft screenshot taker fraps print screen don't care and you send it to me at my email address which is just fellockgames at yahoo.com and if you are the first one to do so you will win the copy there's only one copy it is first come first serve the event goes until someone finds the code and in which case I just post a short video I guess saying that someone found it or probably just be 5.1 just because um, 5.5 .5 will be reserved for the episode if I ever manage to salvage the footage. So, um, just download my world, which will be in the description, where the signs are all over the place, and go find the winning sign. Send me the picture and reap the rewards. Of course, please, well, you can still search, but I mean, obviously, don't try and win a copy of a game you already have. If you have Terraria, I mean... Let someone win who doesn't. I mean, this is kind of for people who, one, either don't want to fork over the $5 for an awesome game or who can't because they don't have a credit card or a way to get it because maybe they're younger. Who knows? Let's not question it. But, yeah. So, now I will see you again in another episode. And until then, stay classy.